I cannot emphasize enough the importance of making sure your paperwork is on point. And when I say paperwork, I'm talking locations agreements, uh, producers agreements, deal memos, the list goes on. But bottom line, making sure that everything is signed, sealed, and delivered before principal photography. Not after, not during, but before. And I don't care if it's your cousin, your, your best friend, your brother, everybody needs to make sure that paperwork is on point before beginning. Um, you know, why do I say this? Well, for several reasons, you know, obviously you want to make sure that everybody is on the same page. You know, sometimes our, um, and this, let me just say this, it's not just for family and friends that I'm referring to, obviously it's for everyone, but sometimes those that um, have worked with us before, those that, you know, genuinely care and, and, and love and want to support the things that we do, are quick to say yes before knowing the details. Um, sometimes when you relay information, uh, you know, even ourselves, we're busy, we're, we're multitasking, we're doing several things, and so there might be something very important uh, that is left out unintentionally. So this way, when it is in writing, right, you've created it, you've taken the time, you usually focus when you're creating, you know, agreements, or whether it's you or your attorney or combination, uh, the person who is signing off has the opportunity to read through each and everything, right? Chances are they're not gonna sign something that they don't understand. So any gray areas, anything that is not, you know, as clear, they're going to have the opportunity to ask that and get clarity. So it definitely helps and lends itself to clear, concise, effective communication. You do not want any misunderstandings after you guys begin, right? After you begin this work relationship. So if you're not having people sign agreements up front, um, you can't get upset with them if they're not taking it serious, right? Or as serious as you would expect them to because you it's your responsibility to treat it as a business and others will follow suit. So for one, it sets the tone, you know, for that, that this is clearly a business. The other reason why I would strongly suggest making sure your paperwork is signed up front is depending on what your goal and your objective is for your project, whether it's to land a home, for it meaning distribution, you will be expected to provide these documents that I'm referring to, which will have to be signed, right? To show uh, that everything was done properly before a network can take it on, before uh, a streaming platform can take it on. And so you wanna make sure that that's done up front because you know, remember we are, majority of us work as independent contractors, right? So we freelance and there may be someone who didn't sign an agreement, you don't realize this until two months later or three months or six months later, right? Now that you've got to dig, it could be a year later. And the last thing you want to have to do is to track this person down, right? To track this person down to get their signature, which that could take weeks or additional months. And so that can be a headache within itself that you want to avoid at all costs. Anyhow, just keep in mind, remember guys, that if it's not in writing, then it doesn't exist. If you guys have had close calls or if you had scenarios where you wish you had, follow the, the advice that I'm giving today, let's talk about it. Share that in the comments, good, bad, and different. Thank you guys so much and be sure to follow. Later.